Fostering sustainability transition requires specific types of knowledge and it also requires specific types of knowledge production. Looking at the different types of knowledge needed, if we really want to approach a sustainability transition, there are at least three different types of knowledge needed. On the one hand, we need the so-called system knowledge. System knowledge means we need to understand the system structures and de the developmental potential of systems. And we also need to understand the context in which systems are embedded. We also need to understand or need to anticipate potential future developments of the system. A second type of knowledge needed when we think about sustainability transitions is the so-called goal or target knowledge. We need to understand which future state of a system do we want to approach. I think especially when talking about the ideal city, this is key and it's also key to accept that there is a normative part in this type of knowledge. Finally, if we know the current state and the current system structures and we need the ideal state of the system, we need a third type of knowledge, which is the so-called transformation knowledge. We need to know how to develop strategies, how to develop pathways to reach from the current state to the future state. On the first hand side, this might sound rather as a technocratic approach, which shouldn't be a technocratic approach as such. The basic idea is really to think or to try to think in these different types of knowledge and then start experimenting with concrete sustainability transitions. A second important aspect is that we need different types of knowledge production. Thinking about a complex system such as cities, it does not really make sense to only think in disciplinary boundaries. We need to transgress these disciplinary boundaries and start bringing together insights from different scientific disciplines, but also the experiential knowledge of planners and of city dwellers, which know best how to transform a city, what the structures of cities are and what an ideal city might look like. In scientific terms, we call this, we need kind of a transdisciplinary approach. I would argue that it's not only the type of knowledge production that needs to be changed. It's also the type or the way of planning and maybe even the way of decision making we're currently using when thinking about cities that needs to be changed. And here a nice example is the example of in Germany, Stuttgart 21, where we had the planning of a large railway station, which was somehow stopped by the public because they weren't really convinced that this is the right way to go. If there would have been a joint planning of this large railway station, maybe this conflict could have been avoided and some intense political disruptions could have been stopped. 